On page 4 of the online application, you will start by entering the physical location where your practitioner is providing services. Enter the street, the building suite number, the city, state, and zip, as well as the county. Click validate address. The system will suggest options for addresses. Click the one that matches yours. If none match, click override and click submit. Now enter the facility's phone number, click location number, select the phone type, and enter the phone number. Click save. Next, add the service location contact. This will be the person that provider enrollment should contact if there are any issues with the application or the enrollment after it is approved. Enter the last name, first name, a phone number, an extension if there is one, and an email address. as well as the position. Click Save. Now select the gender served, the age range served, the language is available. Define your service area. You can use county served or distance from location. Distance from location will populate a dropdown with how many miles. There is an option for no limit. Counties served will display a list of counties served. Select all that apply. To select, click on it, click the arrow to add it to the selected box, and then click for all the other counties served as well. Mark whether this location is wheelchair accessible. If this location has TDD, or TTY equipped? And does this location provide after hours services? If yes, you will be asked later to enter the phone number for the after hours service. Enter whether you wish to be excluded from public provider searches. Click no if you wish to be displayed. Click yes if you wish to be excluded. And answer yes or no if you are a 340B provider. Hours of operation, are interpretive services available, and special needs are all optional fields. These are usually completed on the facility application, not necessarily the individual application, so you may skip them. The CLIA is not required for an individual and should not be entered, as individuals don't have CLIAs, those are only for facilities. It will ask if the mailing address is the same as the service location. If yes, click yes. If no, click no, and then enter the mailing address. If yes, the system will automatically populate the service location into your mailing address, so you won't need to actually add it. Indicate yes or no as to whether electronic funds transfer should be entered. For individual applications, it should always be no, as the provider is providing services for the facility, and the facility is billing through the group record, not the individual record. So the system will use the group records EFT. Therefore, no EFT should be entered on an individual application. Then indicate if the billing address is the same as the service location. If yes, click yes. If no, no. If yes, then the system will populate the service location into this section and you won't have to add it again. Select the option you wish for how you want to get your remittance advice. Electronic 835 web portal inbox, or paper. If you choose web portal inbox, later on you will be required to register for web access. If you wish to change this section, after you've submitted your online application, please contact provider enrollment. Click Save at the bottom of the page. and it will require that you enter the TDD TTY phone number if you entered yes, and it will also request the after hours contact phone number if you said there was one. The system does not populate these boxes until you click 
the save at the bottom of the page, so you won't be able to enter them until it tells you. Now go to the bottom and click save again. And read the message at the top to make sure everything saves successfully. If it did, scroll back down to the bottom and click continue.